Okay. Problem twelve. The clock in series car, which is not accurate. All right. So let's put that. Let's put that. The car clock, right, is not accurate. So not a. Um. Gains time at a constant rate. One time as he begins shopping, he notes that the car clock and his watch, which is accurate, both say 12 noon. When he is done shopping, his watch says 12.30 and his, clocks, and his car clock says 12.35. Later that day, Siri loses his watch. He looks at his car clock and it says 7 o'clock. What is the actual time? So to solve this question, we know it's a constant rate. So what does that mean, if it's a constant rate? Well, the constant rate is proportional to the actual time, right? Because the gaining of time is proportional to how time passes, like, in real life on the actual watch, which is accurate. So that means that if I compare the car clock, which is not accurate, with his watch, which is accurate, this proportion should be constant. Because it told us that the, the clock in series car gains at a constant rate. So then, how do you find this proportion? Well, it told us that it started off as both saying 12 o'clock. Right, and that's the that's his watch, or this is the clock, and that's the watch, right? And then when he is done shopping, right, his watch says twelve thirty, but his car clock says twelve thirty five, right? So that means in the time that thirty five minutes passed for the clock, thirty minutes passed on the watch. So that gives us our rate. The car clock, yeah, I'll just do clock. The the clock in ratio to the watch, right, must give us thirty five minutes over thirty. That simplifies to 7 over 6. So that means for every minute that passes, 7 over 6 minutes passes on the watch. Or, or sorry, because if we cross multiply, right, the clock is 7 over 6 watch. And what that basically means is for every minute that passes on the watch, 7 over 6 minutes passes on the clock. That's the proportion. Now, later that day, Siri loses his watch. He looks at, at the clock and it says 7 o'clock. All right, so that means from 12 o'clock, right, now we are going all the way um, until 7 o'clock, but then this right here must um, must be some x o'clock, right, or, or whatever it is. To find that, we know that there's always a 7 to, f 7 to 6 proportion between the time. So therefore, if I have 7 o'clock, that's the equivalent of 7 hours. Because if I do minutes, that'll just be a bit tedious, so I'll just do 7 hours instead. 7 hours over the 6 hour proportion must give you the 7 hours at the current moment over x. This x is represents the time on the clock in terms of hours. So if we have, for example, th uh, 3.55, that means 3 hours and 55 over 60 hours. So then you can simplify that into minutes if you want. <coughs> now, the reason why I left that as 7 because look at that, the ratio stays the same. So x right here, right, will have to be 6. So that means there's 6 hours that have passed since 12 o'clock to get to where I am now. So that must be 6 o'clock, therefore your answer must be answer choice B.